1852, John Mathers and his wife Elizabeth established a farm on a level parcel of land surrounded by rolling countryside in Illinois. The farm consisted of Percheron horses, Duroc hogs, and beef cattle, including shorthorns. Dr. Les Mathers and his sister Laura Conniff are now the fifth generation to continuously operate the farm known as Leveldale. My grandfather's grandfather moved here from Ohio and he started farming here in 1852. More than a century and a half has passed since the founding of Leveldale, yet the Mathers family legacy of shorthorn cattle production continues still today. What has now become a rich tradition in the breed truly began when John Mathers' grandsons, Doc, and the first Les Mathers, both returned to the operation in the early 1920s after earning their degrees at the University of Illinois. The two young guys who kind of looked at themselves, as most young people do, as invincible and able to do anything they wanted to do. They basically were in the shorthorn breed, which was the premier breed in the country at that time, in the world. And uh, they went from being a couple of small town farmers to being the preeminent breeder in the United States for probably 50 years. From the 1920s through the 1960s, Leveldale Farms exhibited countless champions from coast to coast, all the while building both their herd and their reputation as premier shorthorn breeders. Meanwhile, the next generation, Gene Mathers and his wife Mary joined the operation as well. In those years, the best way to showcase your genetics to the world was taking your cattle to the people, and that's exactly what the Mathers family did. But they started at Illinois and loaded out in boxcars and covered Indiana, Ohio, uh, Wisconsin, Iowa, Kentucky, uh, then went east to Baltimore, Harrisburg, and Timonium, back to Kansas City to the American Royal, and then the biggest show of all was the International in Chicago and their, their time of exhibiting for decades. After Chicago, which really puts you into the first of December, they would be back home for a few weeks. And after Christmas, uh, some years, the day after Christmas, they loaded out again and would be gone exhibiting cattle till around the first week of April. Leveldale genetics were in high demand. Known as the headquarters for herd bulls, their production sales were extremely successful, with sale averages topping $3,000 per animal as early as the 1950s. But even as the rewards of their success began to mount, the Mathers family continued working hard to advance the herd. In that era, most people I know, my family, felt the best genetics of shorthorns were in the area where they originated in northern England and Scotland. And uh, by hand-picking from some of the top herds there, they felt that they brought in great outcross genetics that helped improve, improve our herd, but then also was used widely in the United States. The genetics imported by the Mathers family laid a foundation for both their own operation and the shorthorn breed for years to come. Yet as times changed and cattle type changed, the focus of the Leveldale herd began to change as well. Up until the middle 60s, uh, our family was still extremely active in exhibiting cattle, having an annual production sale. In the middle 60s, they sold about half of the herd and really turned the program at Leveldale into more of a, a commercial-oriented program. But over the last several decades, we put tremendous emphasis on, again, the reproductive soundness utility traits, low maintenance. If cattle need other things done, then they're really not suited for our herd. While the Mathers family has been engaged with the shorthorn breed for decades, the motivation for continuing use of the breed today is more than just emotional. We obviously have a sentimental attachment. You know, when you've been doing something with a breed of cattle for well over 100 years, uh, you're going to be more attached to them. But the attachment is really driven off of utility. The shorthorns not only perform with the growth and the carcass uh, qualities that are comparable or better than Angus, but they bring generally good dispositions. The Mathers family focus on practicality and production value doesn't stop with cattle selection. Every decision at Leveldale is made with the future in mind. We look uh, 
in everything we do as though the farm ground and the cattle operation may well be owned and operated by family members 100 years from now or 200 years from now. The way you take care of the ground you farm, the way you look at things, we don't do things that are for five years. If there's anything we do, it's 20, 40, 50 year minimum at why we're doing something. And uh, that really holds with the cattle business just like it does with our agricultural roots all together. And as the current generation works to advance not only their herd and the shorthorn breed, but also the farm that started more than 150 years ago, they do so understanding they carry the trust of those who came before them. You, you only can guess what uh, prior generations would think about what we're doing today. It's, it's simply a guess. I know my grandfather would be quite pleased.